Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Let's look at Jump Move Animations in Adobe Premiere Pro. Now I have a previous tutorial about doing this kind of thing in After Effects, but you can now do this very easily inside Premiere Pro. Let me show you the little 30 second piece that I put together. Okay, very popular style. You see this a lot of time in motion graphics. I actually was, the colors inspired me from uh, a Toronto broadcast. It's actually uh, a show promo that I was sitting and watching thought, this is similar to the, the Apple don't blink stuff I did in After Effects. So I thought we'd do this in Premiere Pro. So for you professionals out there, you guys who've been animating forever, it's just hold keyframes, that's it. Uh, but for a lot of new users, a hold keyframe is not something they would do, so instead they would make multiple versions of things and move them all over the screen. So let's start with something really, really simple, and then I'll break this down, and I'll show you a very important tip that can really bite you in the butt when you're trying to change the text between one word and another word. So let's make something really, really simple. Okay, so let's go, oh, by the way, all of the clips in this uh, tutorial were supplied by uh, Adobe Stock, the premier supplier of stock images, video, motion graphics templates, 3D illustrations, and uh, motion graphics templates. Did I say that? Yeah. And also the music was from Artlist. Uh, I've got a link in the description for you to go to both of those. So let's create a new simple sequence. So something very simple, straight up HD 1080p. All right, I'm gonna go to the graphics workspace up at the top because I'm gonna be working in graphics. Go to the edit section. I'll grab my type tool, click right in the middle and type hey. So I've got one word typed in there. I'll just center that, center it, center it. So now I've got the word hey in the middle. By default, the size of this, the duration is five seconds. If you change the still duration in the preferences, it will change here. So if you always want 30 seconds, you can do that. You can also drag this out if you want. So with this selected, I'm gonna to go to the effects controls and I'll twirl everything up. So we're just looking at what we need to look at. So there's the text, if you twirl that down and if that's twirled up, you can twirl that down. So there's the text source text. And I'll go to the beginning here and click on source text, move ahead, double click on it and choose Hey You. So now I've got Hey and You. Hey You. There are two keyframes for source text and that's how that plays back. So I'll hit play, there's Hey, there's you, if you want it to be sooner, you drag it sooner, hey, you. Now, an experienced motion graphics artist, especially an After Effects user, will look at these keyframes, the triangles, which are linear keyframes, and they'll say, why is this a linear keyframe? Because in After Effects, it's actually a square, which means it's kind of like a hold keyframe on both sides, because you can't animate between the two letters one letter and another letter. It's an on off. And that's what I'm calling a jump move. I'm gonna show you how to do that with shapes too. We can do that with anything really. But that's how that works. Now here's my little tip for changing the words. So if we zoom in a little bit down here, drag this in, you'll notice that we have tick marks up here and the tick marks are where frames are. 
So that's every single time there's a frame because you can zoom in uh, closer to frames. Here's the deal. If you move this playhead to where the, where the uh, uh, keyframe is, you'll see it doesn't change until I move to the next one, which is not the way After Effects does this, by the way. I think this is a goofy thing. So the compromise is to move to the nearest frame and then move this. Now you'll change this. If you don't, if you leave it over here and you go to the next keyframe like that and you change it, I just changed it. I still can't see the darn thing. And now I don't know. Oh, there it is. So I'd have to go after it. So you see the little tick mark in there. Move the, move your, your playhead to that tick mark. Move the keyframe and then change it. Oh, you see, I think I've messed mine up now too. Let me zoom out. Hey, wow, hey, wow. Okay, so let's do the same thing with, with shapes. So I'll twirl that up. Oh, and by the way, I could be choose, I could be changing the color of that, that uh, text too with the appearance. Uh, this is all under source text, so there isn't a separate fill attribute. Um, if you want the word to stay the same, you don't change the word, you just change the color. So let's grab a big old rectangle, draw this in here. It's going to be over top, so we need to drag this below. Sometimes it's easier to drag it in the Essential Graphics panel. And then we'll just give this a different color, like red. So there's my first word, hey. I can use this button to jump to the next word, wow. So if we change the color, of that shape. Uh, so if I click on the appearance keyframe and add that, that's the first one. So I can actually move that over there. Now let's alternate white type, red background. Let's do red type, white background. So now for the white, I can click in the fill here and change it, but it's much easier. See fill is already, the stroke color is already white. I can borrow that white right there. And we have to go back up to the text and change the text here. So I'll click and add that red. So now we've got, hey, now, hey, wow, hey, wow. That's as simple as it is. You can also change position. So this is a different keyframe. This is not source text. This is transform. And this is where hold keyframes. All of these are all hold keyframes, even though in, in the, uh, Premiere Pro interface, it shows them as linear, linear meaning it animates between the two. They're not, they're hold keyframes. So I'm gonna go back to here and add a position keyframe. And you can see it's also linear. I'll move ahead, make sure I have the move tool and I'll drag this over here. So now I have an animation between those two positions for the, the word wow. Let me drag it over here. Let me drag it down here. So this animation now looks like this. And the word wow is jumping around. Okay, that's one way to animate that with the word. But we don't want the word to jump around. We want it to flash into each one of those spots. So if we change these keyframes here, so I'll select them, right click and change them to hold keyframes. You'll see they change now. And now this is what it looks like. Boom, 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 boom. And you could do that with shapes, you could do that with video. So I could be moving videos around. That's what a hold keyframe does. It jumps from position to position. So let's go back to my sequence. And I'll show you everything that's going on here. So first of all, I've just got a cut screen and that jumps in at that point in the music, that's where I, I jump to that first one, which is a bright big uh, red background with the word we. 
And then I just animated each one of these. You can see all the keyframes. So that's the source text for all of that text. Let me just mute that audio so we don't hear that while I'm scrubbing. So each one of these texts is changing based on those source text keyframes. And you can see they're all linear, but they're really whole keyframes. And down at the bottom, all the shapes are the same thing. So here's the shape uh, background, and you can see there's all the colors that are changing. And I just listened to the music, I followed the music, I stopped, and then I tweaked the position of where things were. And then while I was changing the words, I ran into that problem. So I had to compromise. And you're remember, you're moving between frames. So it's not that much of a compromise in the music. So now let's do something to one of these videos. So this is the clip first of the, the little girl. She's looking. And now it just sits there. So it's not moving at all. So if we open this up, and add a position keyframe. So we'll move that position and we're gonna do scale. Anytime you reposition something, you're gonna see a black edge around it. So we're gonna to want to move that and enlarge it. And for a quick animation, the quality resolution problems aren't that um, much of an issue. Okay, so let's make sure we're at that point. And now I'm going to change the position. So I'll move her over here and I'll enlarge. And you can see if I play this back, it's going to interpolate. Although that's, it's very fast. So it's interpolating between there. And now let's move it down. And I could grab right into the screen and move it around here, but I tend to like to, to do this. So now we've got three moves going on. That's the first one, that's the second one, and that's the third one. Just like before, I select them all, right click and change them to hold keyframes. You see all of these change to hold keyframes. Boom. And I could have done that to each one of these. You could select this motion, right click and save this as a preset and name this and reuse this. So maybe you've created some kind of a jittery move. Uh, you don't want to constantly do that. Save it as a preset, put it in your effects, and whenever you're ready, you just drag that onto things. And that effects preset, which I have tutorials for, can be dropped onto text, video, graphics, animation, anything you want, and uh, you can do it that way. So that's what I'm calling my, um, uh, what did I call it? Oh yeah, jump move animation. It's just, it's just, hold frames, but I, I think jump move animation is, is way more descriptive. Uh, my don't blink After Effects tutorial was a huge success. People love that. They love to create that, but After Effects can be a bit of a head scratcher for a lot of editors. This stuff you can do right in Premiere Pro, pretty darn simple with all the tools that you have. Okay. Hey, if you're new to Video Revealed and you found this informative, uh, take a moment and subscribe. You want to support us more, you can do that through PayPal. There's a link in the description and one on the front of the channel. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to make your life a heck of a lot easier and move accordingly.